Buenos dias, Gaspar De Rosa here and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to discuss some basic uh, adverbial forms or adverbial words that we use commonly in daily Chavacano conversation. So we have uh, these four basic Chavacano uh, adverbial forms, adverbial words. So two of those words, uh, the base first two of those words I will base is on the comparison. You're trying to compare specific things to object or trying to discuss uh, comparison in a conversation so the third one is also like uh, adverbial form so these three adverbial forms you you, you need to use um uh, before an adjective or before a noun uh, before an adjective or before a noun and the last word is uh, it's a superlative form of an adjective or superlative form of a noun so this word uh, there's no specific um conversion or there's a specific uh, uh, English form of this or other language or dialect because this is just like a supportive is make um is make a superlative form of specific adjective or specific noun. So first we will discuss the two um adverbial form that is in for comparison. So never make mistake uh try to avoid any mistake that this um two words is similar with um adverb of um, quantity. I make. I already made a specific video for that so I will just put somewhere here you can click here for the specific video of um, adverb of quantity so for these two words we will use uh, for comparison so we have the much and less much and less so for Chabacano much which means mass mass M-A-S and less which means menos M-E-N-O-S menos so like you're comparing two meals, this one has more meat or much meat and this one has less meat. Meat in Chavacano is carne. So we, you can say um, much meat, which means mass carne. Very noisy here. Uh, anyway, so much meat, which means mass carne and less meat, which means menos carne menos carne carne which means meat so those things are can be compared or you can say clear clear in chavacano is claro claro so you can say mas claro like this view is mas claro and then menos claro this view has less um um not clear less clear so menos claro mas claro menos claro so that's the two adverbial forms for comparison and the third one is very when you say very you're not trying to compare anything you just say that specific adjective or specific specific noun is very very in Chabacan is bien bien b-i-e-n bien uh, you can hear this in common in spanish when they say um, muy m-u-y muy like for example dulce dulce is sweet so you can say in Spanish you say um, muy dulce but in Chabacano we say bien dulce bien dulce is sweetest sweetest so bien is very so very sweet you are so sweet bien dulce got to so which means you are very sweet you are a very sweet person or uh, uh, really good like say, uh, you, you do specific things and you're very good at it. So you can say, bien bueno. Bueno is good. So bien bueno. Bien bueno means very good. Very good. So that is bien is very. So you just put it, I place it in front of an adjective or noun. And the last uh, verbal form is gayot. Gayot. This one is uh, unique because you don't place in front of an adjective or a uh, noun just place it behind it after after a specific uh, words or a specific adjective or noun so gayot gayot is g a y o t gayot like for example you can say um uh, people are asking you is it painful painful in chabacano is duele you can say uh, duele gayot it's very painful so you're not trying to compare anything uh, you know, trying to describe a specific thing you're just saying 
that you feel um, it's very painful. So, duele kayo. Duele kayo. You can say bien duele. It's very painful, but like you have to do this in a specific uh, conversation. This is how you uh, use this. You can say like um, bien duele, but you can say duele kayo. Which means it's very painful. So, you're trying to say what you're feeling or trying to say how the condition is. So, this is for you, like yourself. So, dwelling kayo is very painful, like you had a breakup. So, it's very painful. So, dwelling kayo, dwelling mi corazon. Uh, you can say, um, like, uh, you can say, like, beautiful, bonito kayo. So, it's very, uh, it's like, very beautiful the words or uh, you can say the words is very beautiful so you're trying to read so you can say like how oh, those words are the specific words they are very uh well described so you can say bonito gayot or trying to uh, describe things bonito gayot so those are the four basic adverbial um forms each of a kind of. so we have four we have the mass which means much and less is menos very is bien and superlative of a word or adjective you can say um gayot gayot is um, placed behind or after the uh, adjective or noun so that's it for today and i hope to see you and hope you can still click the like and subscribe to my channel for more adjective um more chavacano and basic um words or uh lessons so i just went to a, a very long hiatus because of the covid and and i was busy at work so i'm a nurse so i have a lot of things in my schedule so i cannot but i'm trying to make it up for you guys so for those who want to learn more Chavacano, just stay tuned and try to click the like and subscribe and make your comments and that's all. Have a nice day. Gracias. Adios.